obnoxious. Nice deep breath in through your nose, then out through your mouth. In through your nose, out through your mouth. Down deep, rise, remaining tightly closed. Nice deep breath in, and just slip. Down deep, rise, remaining tightly closed. Nice deep breath in, and just slip. Down deep, rise, remaining tightly closed. Going down deeper, deeper, deeper. Nice deep breath in, and just slip. Relax deeper, drifting down deep, rise, remaining tightly closed. Nice deep breath in, and just slip. Relax deeper, 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 and just slip. Relax deeper, 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 rise, remaining tightly closed. Nice deep breath in, and just slip. Relax, eyes remaining tightly closed. Nice deep breath in, and just slip. Relax deeper, eyes remaining tightly closed. Nice deep breath in, and just slip. Relax, drifting down deeper, eyes remaining tightly closed. Nice deep breath in, and just slip. Relax, drifting down deeper, 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 deeper. Nice deep breath in, and just slip. Relax deeper, 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 deeper. Nice deep breath in, and just slip. Relax deeper, deeper, deeper. I'm talking to each and every one of you with the music. Exploring all the pages of your lifetime as it was once then. And then later on when I come back to you, you're going to be able to tell me so many wonderful things because you'll have gone through all those pages, you'll have found what you did when you were younger, when you were older. And if you want, you can actually go right to the back of that book and you'll find that at the back there's an index and it becomes a magic book and you can go back another lifetime if you want and another and another and you'll have so many wonderful things to be able to share with us later. Only talking to you if I touch you on the shoulder, drifting down deeper, 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 deeper. I want you to, as you look at that image in your book, in your past life, I want you to be aware of everything around you, what you can taste, smell, see, feel, and hear, and on the count of three, you'll be able to find something reflective or something that enables you to kind of see what you look like, feel what you feel like, and tell us exactly where you are, what you are, on the count of three. One, two, three, eyes remaining closed, but you can talk loud and clear right now. I'm an old lady and I'm on a stick. I've got a long skirt on with a long white pinny and I've got a shawl. But I feel quite lonely as well. I feel very lonely. And my hair's turned back. And my name's Esther as well. My name. You in good health? No. I don't feel in good health. But do you feel what's wrong? I feel I'm elderly. I'm feeling very elderly. Moving those pages, clipping them back so that you can become younger in this image, okay? Younger as you were, would have been in that lifetime when you were younger, okay? On the count of three. One, two, three. Right now, where are you? Why are you? Where, what do you feel? Where are you? I'm in a farmyard. I'm in a farmyard. And the air's dark as well. Is there anything around that would indicate kind of what time this would have been, when it would have been? I've got, I feel 1877. That's brilliant. Just sleep down deeper. I want you to keep flicking through the pages of that book in your mind, explore your life, because when I come back to you in a few moments' time, you'll find that you'll be able to remember clearly and vividly all of the passages of that lifetime from the time of being born and being a young child to the time of getting old through to your passing. When I come back to you later and um, then and only then ask you to open your eyes, you'll find that you're then able to also tell me everything that went on, kind of how you passed, but it won't bother you, worry or concern you in any way. You'll be able to remember everything that went on in that lifetime. Only talking to you if I touch you on the shoulder, drifting down deeper, on the count of three, on the count of three, I want you to be absorbed into that image of your past life. And you'll find that you'll be able to tell me exactly where you are, what you are, what you feel, what you can taste, smell, see, feel, and hear. One, two, three, right now. I'm in a carriage. I've been pulled by horses. I'm on my way to London. I've got a wig on. Got some nice clothes on. It's gold and shiny. Nice buttons. I feel rich, but I feel like I've been rich. I'm not as rich as I was. I'm reading a newspaper. I've got a monocle in my eye. I'd like you to take a look at that newspaper, okay, close up, and see if you can see a, a date on there or anything that would indicate what time and place you're in right now. Newspaper. 
fed with the Chronicle, 1871, 21st of February. So 21st of February, right. And as you're going along on this journey, what, what do you see outside the carriage? Lots of mud and sludge, and they've just uh, stopped it up there because we couldn't get, we got stuck to it for much. I mean, for about two hours before we could get some help. Another three days to go. Three days to go till to what? Till I get to London. Can you recall why you're going to London? I'm going to meet some friends. And I've got a meeting. So this is more of a personal thing than any form of business, yeah? I'm going to meet the Quakers. Just sleep down deeper, 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 deeper. Drifting down in that book, I want you to keep looking through the book in your mind. Looking, absorbing, and reliving each and every page. Nothing will bother you, worry you, or concern you, but you will find that you can remember clearly and vividly everything when later on I come to you again and ask you. And even when I ask you to open your eyes later on, you'll be able to remember everything you've seen in that book from the time of your birth to the time of your passing. Oh, that won't bother you, worry you, or concern you in any way. We're talking if I touch you on the shoulder, drift. See, experience everything in that book, your previous lifetime. One, two, three. Right now, where are you? What are you? What do you feel? What can you see? I'm in a cottage. Yeah. What can you see? What's around you? Fields. River. Heather. Still female or? Female. For long, long boundary from long white penny. Very warm. She feels better, better. Are you in good health at this time? That's wonderful, so just drift down deeper and you'll find that you can go through every page in that book. Remember everything from the start of your life to the end, so that when I come back to you in a few moments' time, you'll be able to remember everything clearly and rapidly. Only talking to you if I touch you on the shoulder, nice deep breath in, just slip, slip deeper. Nice deep breath in, just slip down deeper, 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 deeper. And slip, relax deeper, 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 deeper. And slip. Mm -hmm. 
as I say, we'll get the uh, reaction of them afterwards. And then we've got, well, we've got kind of a darkness there, didn't we? Okay. So then one of the lady was on the farm, yeah? So could you not quite sense things as clearly? Ah, right. Well, so it's my fault. Go ahead. That's fine. Well, we have actually got the starts of an image there. As I say, we'll see. Oh, we're going to progress on. We'll see what the people make of these afterwards, uh, Pauline. So everyone drifting down deeper, my voice serving as a sign and a signal to relax more completely. The moment I touch you on the shoulder, it counts to three, on the count to three, only on the count to three, you'll instantly be absorbed into uh, as you once were in your previous lifetime. Nothing will bother you, worry you, or concern you. It will be just like you're watching it on a film. So if anything distressing happened to you in a previous lifetime, you will not physically relive it here tonight. So as you many times, we close on the count of three. One, absorbed into that image. Two, and on three, into that image. Where are you? What are you? What can you see? What do you feel right now? Got no what? No, on my feet. Nothing on your feet? Have you got other clothing on, what? Yeah. <laughs> I've, I've got... It's... I think it's a dress. It, it's all tied up. What can you see around you? Cobbled streets and with lots of houses. What are the houses look like? Um, they're all attached with the door Just doors on the street. Sticks. Sticks of meat. Is this a daytime image or a nighttime image? I think it's the afternoon. If you look around, what else around you can see that kind of stands out? The lamp posts. What's weird about that? The candles. What, the lamp posts are candles? No, the light in them. Oh, right. Okay. Someone light in them. With a big long stick. Why do you feel you're there? What is it you do? I'm on my way home. On your way home? From where? The mill. Are you going to work at the mill? Yeah. What are you doing in the mill? I work with the machine with the new crops.
relax deeper in that image. Absorb yourself and you'll find that you can remember everything from each and every page when I come back to you in a few moments time. Only talking to you, I touch you on the shoulder. Drifting down deeper on the count of three, only on the count of three. You'll find that you're deeply absorbed into that image and you'll be able to tell me where you are, who you are, what you are, what you feel and what you sense around you right now. One, two, three.
other time altogether, perhaps before or perhaps after that, whatever feels right for you. One, two, count and relax, three, right now. Drift down deeper, 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 deeper. You'll find over the next few minutes that you're able to explore that book in a calm, safe and relaxed manner, as each and every one of you can, and you'll find that you'll be able to remember everything clearly when I bring you around, and when you see the, the lady that was coming on from the mill. All right, let's try. It's like guesswork now, we can just about to see that thing. That is very detailed. Oh, so much makes of that, shall we? And that's... Looks a bit of Einstein's bouquet on that, doesn't it? Keeping up fences. Oh, Maggie Thatcherish. I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> I'll see you. Oh, yeah. This is, it was in the trench, and then they switched her off that into something else. So this is the feeling you got when, when she was in the trench, or some sort of connection with, with that, yeah? Hmm. See what she likes of that after. And that's a big piece of paper. <laughs> Relaxing down deep. Preach if you find in there, you explore these wonderful things in your mind, you can remember everything in every nerve, fibre, tissue and muscle of your body. And we're talking for touch on the shoulder, I'm talking to you, relaxing deeper. On the count of three, on the count of three, you'll be able to tell me exactly what you can taste, smell, see, feel and hear, what you experience, what you see around you, who you are, where you are, back at this time in your previous life. One, two, three, right now. Well, like a pub type tavern. Yeah, it's really beer. Because I want you to keep exploring that in your mind. When I come back to you in a few moments' time, you'll be able to remember things vividly and clearly, and you'll be able to taste, smell, see, feel, and hear everything as 100% total reality. One. Almost there. Two. Three. Four. Right now, where are you? What are you? What do you feel? What's going on? We're moving to work. Who's we? I'm 
Mamsa Shurupoga. Mamsa Shurupoga. Well, I what have you done? Catapult, you've not broken something, have you? It's alright, no, nobody can hear you. So you what, what is it you've broken? I think it's someone's window. Ah, somebody's window. Yeah, right, well, mm, these things do sometimes happen. Yeah. What will your uh, mum do if she finds out for definite? Oh, 
Raj, right? Of, you've got the sense, you know, I know you've got that vibe who you were getting the sense from, Pauline, so if you just like to... Do what? You can't you just stand out so everyone can hear? Is that how you envisaged it in your mind? The face is spot on when I was a bloke, but the face... I, I saw myself as a bloke, but the face is how I saw it. Okay. So that's pretty spooky, you know? Lady was really happy, this lady. We've got a blackness here and then... You're in the cottage, the cottage? Yeah. You are. It, it looks like you. You more. What in this lifetime? Yeah, but she Yeah, but your actual mum in this lifetime, as it were. And that look, yeah, and it looks looks like your mum. That's probably what you've sent, then, Pauline. That's uh, slightly spooky. The sending means something to these people, and indeed they do. Coming on from the mail, that was this young lady here. You are? When I were older. That's when you were older. So it, you see, it means to these people, what you saw drives, this is really weird. I can't explain how this works because I don't know. The lady in the dirty kitchen. Well, you can take a few moments to think about that until us after, and then we've got. The trench, that was this lady here. Some kind of connection. I don't, it doesn't necessarily mean that's who this lady was, does it? It could be somebody connected, yeah. Um, the tavern, the lady in the inn. Yeah, it looks a bit more like a bloke, so there might be some connection there. I don't know if that looks familiar to you at all at the moment. And finally, the catapult. Who had the catapult? Where was it? Oh yeah, so it was. How could I forget that? The naughty. You what? Because I never told you I was a boy. Oh, that's a point. I never asked that. You, you were a boy in, in, in that past lifetime. So does that... That is weird, isn't it? Polly? Can we have a round of applause for Polly? Very, very proud to stand out in the moment. Brilliant. I'm sorry that everyone got images, but that's just how these things work. And also, I ran off on some people because we are short time this evening, or unfortunately. Um, you know, I've got to be honest, I only bought six shares up here at the beginning, which you probably noticed, uh, because I envisaged having about six people up here and spending it in the region of 15 minutes with each person. Um, thank you very much indeed, everyone that volunteered. Uh, slightly. Uh, Overwhelmed by the fact that so many of you did. Brave enough to come up, thank you. In the audience, thank you also for participating. You will find that when you wake up in the morning, as long as you go to sleep and you focus your mind on that which it is you want to achieve in life. If you go to sleep with that thought in your mind, but don't go, oh, I'd like this to happen. Say it to yourself as though it's already happened. I am now a confident, happy, healthy, relaxed, non-smoker, or I am now a person who is not scared of whatever. And go to sleep with that thought in your mind and you will have the same experience of being able to enter your subconscious mind as these wonderful volunteers did here today. You'll find that you wake up in the morning feeling very different indeed. Ladies, it's all like a very sexy show tonight. No, no male volunteers. What I'd like each and every one of you to do is stand up, Take your bow, everyone will give you a huge round of applause as you wait there. Make your way back to uh, the audience safely. Well, we're really at that point where it's the end of the show and uh, the ending music will just about start. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you for coming. If you've enjoyed it, my name's Jonathan Raw. If you haven't, my name's Tom McKenna. On behalf of me, Pauline Montgomery and Middleton City Hall, thank you, good night. <laughs>